brought me many realizations. Twenty taught me never be complacent. I've got twenty years and I'm still changing. I've lived twenty lives and needed saving. So I got all these layers stacking up like Tetris. The depths of who I am cannot be seen in metrics. More than meets the eye or meets imagination. Yeah. Cause I'm more than just a woman. I'm more than just a person. I got all these dimensions. everyone welcome back to my channel i'm natalie caitlin and welcome to a new video on my channel welcome to my july plan with me video june was an amazing month obviously because it was my birthday a few days ago actually my birthday was yesterday um, yeah i'm filming this on the 29th of june and so i had a lovely birthday i will upload the vlog and everything that i did i was at work but i did manage to have a little free day the day before and I shot some nice pictures and all that and so June was essentially a, a good month I made a couple of changes in June and started waking up earlier I started eating healthier I haven't had a soda all of June I'm so proud of myself today is the 29th of June and I it's day 29 um, that I've passed with out having a soda which is really amazing because ever since I came to this country I've had a soda literally almost every day and so that's a huge accomplishment and so you know I did a lot of work in terms of making sure that I'm consistent but I think you guys would have noticed that I uploaded like regularly this past month like over the past five weeks or so and i'm hoping to continue that this month and so yeah this month we're going to plan um my studies which if you haven't watched my how to make a study plan video do go and watch it over here um i gave you guys some tips and tricks that you guys can use to you know turn yourself from an average student to an excellent student simply by altering how you plan your studies and so we're gonna modify that a bit um the plan that i had created i need to make some changes because i've changed my mind on some of the things that i want to focus on for this month um so we're gonna make just some minor changes to that and then we're gonna set our habits we're gonna set our goals and um essentially to-do lists and action and everything for the month you know the usual and then we're gonna discuss and see what we're working on this month and yeah we'll be good to go I am drinking um, a combination of coffee and hot chocolate. I put more chocolate in it than coffee and I'm, I'm low key regretting that because my eyes are actually heavy. I am very sleepy today. I struggled to be awake at work like the whole day I was struggling and then now um, obviously you guys can tell my eyes are heavy and everything but anyway um it's quite yum i didn't put as much milk as i normally do so it's very chocolatey and coffee at the same time from the go i was on my own had to find a home up in myself plan to see then go where i still cause i ain't have a shelf and it's hard to understand when you don't know my rules yeah it's hard to understand when you don't know the truth Cause we all got some shit that we don't like to mention And the things that keep me up, they made me who I am, yeah So I can never sit back, say that I regret it Every ounce of pain I felt became a lesson I'm more than just a woman I'm more than just a person I got all these dimensions
this is how my monthly overview is looking so far the only things i have put out is my call dates of which that's the only important thing that i think i have this month i literally can't think of any upcoming um events that i have to put in here and there's some holidays obviously but because we work holidays as well there's no point in me putting them on here because i'm gonna be at work anyway one thing i definitely tried to do this month and um uh, in june and i think did quite okay in was waking up earlier i had developed a habit of like waking up 30 minutes before i needed to leave for work so i like literally wake up shower get ready and go to work but these days like on days when i wasn't um on call or when I know that I wasn't stationed in like a busy ward, I'd wake up like around 4.35 and then, you know, try to be a little productive before I go to work. And I didn't do that every day, obviously, because I was, this was me trying to get back into it. But this month, we're getting back into my, essentially my 4 a.m. morning routine. Fingers crossed, hopefully. And um, possibly we'll film the morning routine sometime this month. Um, but otherwise, you know, that's something that I really worked on um another thing that i worked on was generally being like just generally being productive and since that even at work because now i think i told you guys earlier or in my june plan with me video i think i mentioned that i was now in a department with seven people rather than three which meant i was no longer going to be doing night shifts every two days um like previously i was not going to be doing a call just like once a week of which I actually haven't been on call in the past like two, almost three weeks. So like you find that sometimes at work you are just sitting essentially waiting for 5 p.m. so you can go home. And usually that time some people sleep, some people, I don't know, just chit chat and like talk stories and do nothing in particular. But what I was doing these days, if I wasn't studying or like editing pictures, I was actually like working on my planners and everything. And so this was like me using that, that free time that I have at work to be productive because sometimes you'll you, you, you won't have a busy day at work, right? Like you will spend the day chilling, essentially talking stories, and then you come back home at five, but then you're tired because you've been at work. And when you get home, you just want to sleep. So imagine spending the day at work doing nothing in particular, and then you come home and sleep. It's like you've spent the whole day doing nothing. And so that's another thing that I want to find and changed. And as this month goes on, we're gonna do even more. And I wanna make a comeback on my flourish page. I think you guys already saw like my past two posts, which I posted this week. Um, when I post, when I uploaded my, which I posted last week when I posted my uh, study plan video. And so. What's really funny is that I had actually created um, a content calendar and created the posts, but obviously those posts need to go with something. They can't just go alone. And so that's what I need to start working on now. And I, th I'm actually, I have a good feeling about July, to be honest. I think there's going to be a lot of changes and a lot of like just getting back into routine. I love me a routine, guys. Like when I don't have a routine in my life, my life just goes haywire. And so I'm really happy to be getting back into routine slowly but surely. And that's one thing that you guys need to do like if you're trying to get if you're trying to get back into routine don't try to just like force yourself from nowhere wake up at four or be productive like you have to build into it slowly but surely um you don't just wake up and say i no longer drink soda for example you have to like do okay this week i'll have it like three times a week and then next week like once and then the next week after that like nothing and then you continue and continue continue you know like be reasonable and sensible and realistic essentially so this is what i had set out to try to achieve like in terms of my habit tracker for june i guess it's essentially going to be the same for july just with a few modifications otherwise yeah So I'm going to fill in my habit tracker for this month. I actually did quite well tracking my habits um, last month. Normally I would typically like track up to here and then like lose track of things and then like come back here. And then so I usually have like a huge chunk of just nothing filled in because I just couldn't be bothered to track anything. Um, but yeah, obviously it gets better with time. I'm going to reach a point where every single day I have actually filled in what I have done and what I haven't done. So let's just fill out what exactly it is that we're trying to achieve this month. 
So for my habits to track this month, I essentially have pretty much the same thing. Um, a minor difference that I made here is I changed this from morning study session to morning productive session because sometimes you wake up and you just generally don't feel like studying but you still want to be productive. So I could typically like edit a video, work on my products or something, just like be productive instead of just sleeping in. Um, my skincare, be positive, be happy, have all meals. I want to continue, I want to see how much longer I can continue to go without having a soda until I typically just don't drink them anymore. Um, and then everything else is essentially the same. Drink water, do my evening skincare, my evening devotions as well. And to sleep early, which I typically do, usually. Um, unless I have something I've got going on that evening. Otherwise, yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is to plan my studies, my business plans, and my content um, planning. And then we'll be almost done. Something's different and I can't recognize myself You turn me upside down Can't wrap my head around the way that These hands reach out for you Like no one else I don't know what you're doing to me But can I have a little more, please? Can I have a little more? Can I have a little more, please? Can I have a little more, have a little more? I'm hypnotized by your perfume. I never thought I'd be touching you. Holding my breath, cause I'm new to this. Taking my time so I won't forget. So what I've essentially done is to set my goals, which um, I want to interpret an ECG a day, I want to cover like the entire CNS exam, and I want to do, um, you know, just the basics and OBGY, which is different from what I had initially set my goal to do. My other goal here was to do um, renal basics, but then I realized I'm actually doing my OBGY rotation. It doesn't make sense to spend the whole month not studying something um, OBGY related, so I had to incorporate some of that. And then um, I broke down like all the topics that I wanted to cover this month. So there's about three, six, nine, ten, eleven of them. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill that in here. And the reason that I only have like 11 or so topics is because I want to do these things in detail. And some days I'm busy at work, so I don't always have time to study every day. And I have to be really realistic about my plan. If you watched my study video, my how to plan your studies videos, then you'll know um, exactly what I'm talking about. So now I'm just going to hit... I'm just going to go ahead and fill in like the days where I'm going to study and like what I'm going to study and how. So when I talk about being realistic, um, I've gone ahead and added, and added the days that I'm on call and post call. Obviously, if I just came home from a 30 hour shift, I'm not trying to study anything. When I get home, I'm going to be sleeping the whole day. Um, so that's why I put my on call and post call days. And then these days and also the 31st with the line um, are Saturdays and I won't be doing any studying on Saturdays because that's my rest day. And so essentially that leaves me with about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 days um, of studying. Of which some of those days you'll find that maybe you're busy at work or you struggle to get up so you might not even um, get much done or you were too tired or something. So it's very important to plan your studies very like realistically and I cannot stress this enough because when you set an unrealistic study plan and then you don't meet um, the goals or your, your tasks that you set for that plan, you're going to be very demotivated. 
and so now that i know that these are the days that i'm going to be studying i can just go ahead and fill in the topics and the, the kind of study session that i'm going to have So I've gone ahead and finished doing my studies, my content, my business plan, as well as the to-do list that I have um, every month of just everything I need to get done that month. And obviously this is a list that I build up as time goes because I can be at work today or at home and then realize, oh, there's something I need to do. And then I just add that to my to-do list. I am not the person that tries to keep things in the back of my mind, okay? That just never works out for me because I will forget um and so i think i'm essentially done with my plan for the month um this month is more about just like getting back into productivity because it is like the second half of the year that we've just started the, like we've gone through an entire six months and so the last um month like the sixth month of the year was essentially me trying to like slowly getting back into things so that by the time the second half of the year starts um you know already like into it and i just keep going and so that's essentially what july is all about i think i definitely will be back into a 4 a.m or at least 4 30 morning routine i don't like this thing of just waking up and going um and yeah so my priorities this month essentially my happiness obviously and just being in control of my happiness and my sanity getting closer to god continuing and keeping in the faith um my studies definitely going to be a very important aspect um, of my month uh because i got used to just going to work coming home and sleeping going to work coming home and sleeping um but we need to start doing some studying as well um, and then um obviously my business and my brand and then just everything else after that so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know what you want to see on my channel this month or just any time in the future subscribe to my channel if you haven't turn on your post notifications and i will see you in my next video bye